hi everyone welcome back to my channel I'm running a bit behind I normally try to get my videos in at the end of each month but it's already August 1st so oops. so I got a request a couple of weeks ago to do a flip through of my vintage um, Victoria magazine from 1995 this was a gift from a um, subscriber and a follower um, and I want to say thank you to her. I don't want to mention her name, but I want to say thank you to her. She sent the most beautiful box full of goodies for me to enjoy, and I have been enjoying those. And this was one of the goodies inside of the box. So this is a vintage uh, Victoria June 1995 magazine that we're going to flip through. I've gone through it once, but it's been a couple of weeks since I've looked at it. So I will go ahead and share that with you. Um, with you all real quick uh, before we cut to the video i did want to share my new arrival for the boutique so these are my new um stella satchels that just arrived and they are the cutest little bags you guys know that i'm a big tote kind of person because i'm tall and a little thicker so i like a good um a good nice big tote but these are really cute you can wear them as a crossbody and they've got these great beautiful handles this cute bow up front the inside is very nice as well too so there's an opening here with the button there's the zipper the zipper um, middle that um, you know you can zip up that has most of the space in here and there's the third pocket right here that is the button so these are really cute and the quality is great i love the gold hardware I mean, it's a really cute bag. I was very surprised when I got them at the material and the structure. There's no feet at the bottom, but this is a really cute bag and I love the way it looks. I love the beautiful mauve color. It's really cute. So I also have it in the gray as well. And I love the gray. This will be great for the fall. So it also has the strap and the same um, compartment set up as the pink one. So they're really cute and quite lovely. They are only $35. There is um, a bit of wording back here. I think it's called Crossy, but it's really small. You can you can barely see it. But other than that, they are really cute and I love the gold hardware. So I hope you guys can pick up one or, you know, or considering, you know, buying one, they're really cute. And I'm really glad I was able to get these from my vendor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the vintage magazine. Okay, so here we are. This is Victoria magazine, June 1995. Blue and white for you and your home. Slip covers. Never more romantic. How to receive a letter from Madeline Leango. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. A Bride's Beloved Traditions and Strawberry Time. All right, and you can see here in the upper right hand corner, the price is, I think it says 250, so which is a big jump for now. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I believe this is very similar to what Jennifer L. Scott had in her flip through. So there is the Lacombe advertisement. And I've tried a few of their products, some of their creams. Here is another advertisement, and this is for, it looks like Spode. So this is the Sp Spode Blue Room Collection. This is the Victorian series of six glorious blue 10 inch dinner plates to charm a table or grace a wall. So those are very pretty, I like those. This looks like a an advertisement for um, what I would call grandfather clocks by Howard Miller. Don't know if that company still exists. So here we are at the table of contents and this looks like an advertisement for a Buick Oldsmobile. I used to call those church people cars. Those, that's, those are the vehicles all the church people drove when I was younger. So in this issue, it has the Dear Friends um, letter, which is on page 10. Uh, looks like on page 16 there's favorite things a passion for blue and white calling cards the writer in residence uh, article uh, beauty and fashion on her wedding day uh, looks like a design studio and several other articles that were written 
So another advertisement for furniture. So I'm not sure how you say that. So I'm not even going to try, <laughs> but it says Lexington Furniture Industries. Not even sure if that company is still around, but I still love that. The, the beautiful, um, it's not a sleigh bed, but what are those poster beds? And that's really not a four poster bed, but I love how that looks, even though it may look dated, but I bet you that's good quality furniture. And an advertisement for, it looks like a wedding company, a bridal collection by Jessica McClintock, never heard of her. Okay, it looks like um, more information from Victoria Magazine, some china plates, and an advertisement for Eternity for Men by Calvin Klein. Another advertisement for Clinique, and this is the Dear Friends letter called Making Your Acquaintance. It says, um, in the last few months, I have been meeting many of you at events around the country from Connecticut to Texas and here in New York as well. During those times, I always wish we could sit in an arbor like the one in this painting, sip lemonade and chat to our heart's content. And that is from the then editor-in-chief, Nancy, looks like Linda Meyer. So that is a beautiful painting. Okay, so it looks like this is more advertisement. This is for, looks like custom blinds. And it says introducing vignette window shadings. So I actually like the way that sunroom looks. Looks very nice. And then over here, another Dear Friends section, and these are little letters from all of the readers from Victoria Magazine. So let me straighten up the book a little bit here. So here we have a special invitation to you, readings at eight. So it looks like this is some sort of event that Victoria Magazine was having back then. And this looks like an advertisement for Black Current. Oh, this is Black Current Vodka. I'm not a drinker, so I'm not familiar with that. Okay, so here is the Passion for Blue and White section, Favorite Things. Oh, these are really pretty. I love that vase. What does it say about that um, or that picture? Above leafy sprays of daisies and wild roses meander across a 19th century English, English porcelain pitcher, pitcher. So that's really pretty. I love the tulips. And this is really nice. Someone had that in their living room? Wow. Okay, what's it say about that? Um, So down here has a chair, it looks like slip covers. There's a section about this, is, is it here? It says left, so I'm assuming that's it. Dusty blues brighten room when set against pristine whites. Fabrics for curtains, ruffled pillowcases on sofa and small pillowcases on window seat. Okay, I'm not sure where that section is about that, but looks like more favorite blue and white things right here. Looks like a, oh, this is a nightgown. Looks like a watch, and here looks like someone's uh, needlepoint. Okay, more favorite things for blue and white. So here looks like this is someone's inspiration board, which is really pretty and loving all of the fabrics. This right here is the, this is a favorite thing of mine. I love this. Can you guys see this in your, one of your bathrooms? This beautiful porcelain sink bowl. That is really, really pretty. I love that. And here more fabrics and someone's beautiful pillowcase. So it says, above, uh, a morning reserve for rare indulgences might begin with 
Breakfast served on blue fluted full lace china, first introduced by Royal Copenhagen in 1775. So and over here, looks like we've got some more blue and white linens. Uh, it says right. Uh, dress in leaf in the leafy azure swirls of Jessica McClintock's is it Jonat linens a bedroom invokes the lightness and full of an island sanctuary oh right in the bird cage very nice now here we have more blue and white favorites okay so here up ah, more blue and white favorites this is a beautiful teacup and saucer it says cradled in a wicker basket. This lily push, is that lily pulching? Not sure what that says. Tea set is the essence of whimsy. It is pretty. That beautiful china here. Here looks like an advertisement for the bridges in Madison County with Clint Eastwood. I've seen a little bit of that movie, but I have not been able been able to finish it. Uh, looks like more favorite things. These beautiful birds here. These are very pretty birds. It looks like this is another advertisement for furniture, I believe. It looks like a table with some birds. Looks a little strange to me. Here we are, more favorite things. Um, I'm gonna have to speed through this a little bit because this magazine is really thick and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through everything. But here are more favorite things. Looks like some beautiful linens, a beautiful shirt. Uh, some blue and white headbands, which we all know are making a comeback. This looks like a beautiful tea cozy. Um, and I am loving this Wedgwood teacup and saucer set. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. And it's quite lovely. Okay, looks like this is another advertisement for perfume, Giorgio Beverly Hills. Uh, looks like these are the calling cards that were mentioned in the table of contents. It's quite nice. Um, does that say Godiva? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, it looks like an advertisement for liquor. This is the writer in residence article. Too obvious to forget. Let's see. On the dreariest of days, an envelope tumbles into the lap of our writer in residence and scatters the clouds, making her think about what really matters in life. Okay. More advertisements. I, re I remember this company with the stemware. Uh, another advertisement. Looks like this says classic gardenia. Looks like this is a fragrance and potpourri collection um, from this company. That's very pretty. Looks like she's in the middle of a fountain with a beautiful vintage dress. Well, here we are, beauty and fashion on her wedding day. Looks, looks like a beautiful um, Bright bouquet, but that looks like a floral headband that would go on someone's head. Yes, that's what this is. Uh, the bride floating all white in the morning, shadow of trees, her veil of flowing with laughter. So these look like beautiful veils. I actually love this dress, this is really pretty. Looks like this is an advertisement for Dove Soap. I've always loved Dove Soap and still use it to this day. These look like vintage dresses. And I think a lot of us remember the paper doll sets that we used to play with where you would cut them out and fold and put their clothes on them. Those were the best things ever. Cause then you can just imagine and re redo their outfits and have a lot of fun with those paper doll sets. This is an advertisement for GMC Jimmy Truck. 
I remember when these came out. These were so popular. Everyone wanted one. Uh, here is the design studio section. This looks like someone's home. Oh, let's see. Though she she long been a devotee of airy interiors, artist Gail Brombach was daunted by the thought of furnishing the enormous dining room of her Victorian home. She turned to her paint box for solutions, creating whimsical garlands that defined the space, yet kept it looking light. I actually like her chairs here. Those are really nice. And it looks like this table is solid wood. Oh gosh, this is really pretty. This looks like a painting on her wall. That is quite lovely. Oh gosh, I really like that. Okay, more from her home. More from Gail's home. I love the china and the wall. Looks very nice. Okay. And this looks like an advertisement for Frigidaire dishwashers. Sorry, I'm coming back over here to look. Okay, it says, at first glance, the, I hope I'm saying this right, bomb, bomb box dining room seems very blue, but look more closely and you'll see that there's really a series of graded colors above. As Gail explains, the walls themselves are cream and beaded chair rail, a light bluish green. The woodwork around the doors and bottom of the walls is even darker, more of a gray. The only things in the room that are truly blue are the padded rug and a damask throw on the dining bench. To me, that's the secret of decorating with your favorite color. Use it as an accent only and it will be all the more effective. So that's that. Looks like more advertisements for furniture. This looks like, I'm not sure what this is, if that's an advertisement. I do love this blue couch right here from Broyhill. Looks like this is more furniture. There is a faux, that is an actual four poster bed. I actually love this set right here, the floral couch. I actually like that. I remember when all this um, dark cherry wood furniture was coming out. Looks like it's nice, full of quality. Looks like there's some flowers here. Mm, a lot of pretty blue blooms. Oh gosh, I'm already at 15 minutes. <laughs> Along the garden path, looks like this is more about um, a location. Looks like a location in Rhode Island. More advertisements for tea in China. Ooh. Okay, looks like this is someone's article called Parties Real and Otherwise. This is by Carol Shields. Wish I could sit and read that, but I can't. More advertisements. Oh, this is for you. This looks like perfume. So Victoria's Beauty Indulgence. Victoria's pleased to offer these special sizes of scents and beauty enhancers for you to sample. Oh, so they were offering these. So it looks like that was Mackie by Bob Mackie, Eternity by Calvin Klein. Um, Beautiful Awakening Collection from Caswell Massey. This one, what is that called? Oh, can't get to focus. What is that, Pin Bolligan's Lily of the Valley? I think I probably would have ordered that one <laughs> if I had the chance. Okay, looks like, oh, more of their beauty indulgence, more perfumes. And looks like this was the order form. Okay, looks like this is along the garden path. Looks like this is an outdoor garden party or picnic. Very beautiful. The glories of White Garden. Looks like 
looks like this is an advertisement for Pier 1 Imports, which sadly, our locations here have been closed. Um, I think you can just order online now. So this just looks like the Victoria's, Victoria section. Everything's coming up blue and white. It says, what lifts the heart like the marriage of blue and white? Only June skies, a child's eyes, or a flash of blue flag irises in the garden. This month, we tip our hat to the very colors of happiness, celebrating the long-lasting union of blue and white in prized china, fresh rooms and bridal fa fashions. Somehow, we never tire of these cheerful colors. We really don't. Especially in this season, we when nothing but azure skies are in our thoughts for June Brides. So here we are for a house set by the sea, the purest of palettes. I love those roses, especially in the silver pitcher. That looks nice. And here we are with someone's, looks like someone's home. Looks like a home tour. I like the rocking chair. Is that a vanity? Uh, no. Looks like just an area where they have their silver set up. Looks like a lot of her vintage personal items that she likes to collect. I think this woman's name is Mary, Who's home this belongs to. Oh, it looks like that might be Mary right there. Oh, that's really pretty. I love dining out fresco and hope that um, here soon we can get a concrete port, a concrete pad poured in our backyard so that way I can get a nice pergola and get some beautiful furniture back there so we'll be able to eat outside. This is really pretty, I love that setup. Okay, more blue and white, beautiful room. I still think that's pretty. I still love that. I'm not sure what that's called, we might know a balance of some sort. And I always love a table full of flowers and pretty things. Love that. So this is called the Perfect Boudoir. So it says, when the design firm of Fairy Hayes accepted the challenge of refurbishing a Victorian home for the venerable Ken what is it, Kenninger Furniture Company, they encounter something of a sleeping beauty. Oh, I love this. Oh, the plate hanging on the wall with the ribbon. Oh. Very pretty. I love that. I love a table full of beautiful things. Your pearls, your vintage dishes, your crystal um, candlestick. I love the wallpaper behind it. Very nice. I can just sit and stare at that picture. Looks like this is uh, a perfumer's diary. Okay, more vintage perfume bottles. Looks like these are tonics, beauty oils for lovely skin. Ooh, that's really pretty, I love that. To have that next to your bathtub, a table full of your, your soap and your blue and white flowers in your mirror. Very nice. Oh, here we are to the wedding section. So dear to her heart, something blue. So this looks like wedding dresses and wedding ideas from the 90s. The wedding dress is so pretty. Does it say who made it? Oh, let's see. Above left, Lisa Hammerquist, gloves, Caroline, Tomato above center brooch with opals. J Mavic brooch with opals. Oh, over here. Is that it? Oh, 
oh gosh i love this i did see this when i first opened the magazine i do love the way that looks i think she looks very beautiful and i love her hair it's so pretty okay it says um does it say where this is from right no it doesn't say where her dress is from yeah, I love the hair. And this room, it, it's come, it looks a little darker, but it's actually blue white, the furniture is. Actually very pretty. There's more blue and white wedding ideas, wedding dress ideas. I'm trying to see where the dresses are from. So this is an organza dress, and it looks like it's from Jane Wilson Marquis. Never heard of her. But you know how they put the shopping information on the last page, which I'm hoping I can get to, but I don't know. So here we are, next article. I actually love this room. So this says, in Northern Lights, we dream of spending the summer in a Swedish country house by the sea, a place where grandma's Best plates glow from shell white dressers and scrub children rim the table at dinner time. Victoria translated this dream into a fresh yet traditional dining room touch with the hand painted blue tiles and stencils that brighten so many Scandinavian homes. It's all here but the sound of seagulls. I actually think this is a great idea to put a bunch of flowers in your fireplace. I actually love that idea. Okay, we're winding down. This video is already close to 30 minutes. I'm trying to keep it short, but I want to be able to flip through the entire book for all of you. So it looks like this is more from that home. So I actually love this. I don't know if that's in the kitchen or her vanity. The teapot. Okay. Oh, I love the draperies here and how they fall. It looks so nice. And I love the, the detail here. I'm trying to find where all the information is, but it, it's not really clear. Looks like this is someone's porch and looks like someone's beautiful linens. Ah, uh, slipping into something comfortable. This looks like someone is their needlepoint work. Ooh, oh my. This is, I didn't see this. This is a lamp. Wow. That's cool. Is that fabric? <laughs> Oh, where's the information on this? Gosh, this is gorgeous. That is a lampshade. And I don't know if that's fabric or if it's porcelain or... You would think this would be porcelain. But it looks like a lamp. Where's the information? Oh, I can't find it. And as soon as I get through with the recording this, I'll find the information. It's usually how it goes. This is quite beautiful, this slip cover. But that chair, it's very nice. This is beautiful too. I like that. Okay. Oh no, my battery's getting low. I'm gonna try to hurry, you guys. So here's more of the slipcover work in the room. Okay. Oh, okay, I made it to this section. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. I'm trying to hurry because my battery's getting low, but this is a giant spo collection. Um, I wish I can read it, but my, my battery's getting low. So, here we go. More, more, it's talking more about the collection, more about the plates. So here you have the blue Italian, the botanical, the woodman, girl at the wheel. 
So in here it says um, close up of a golden age and it is truly a golden age so all right i think that's pretty much it oops more about an oracle for strawberry picking and that looks delicious but i'm going to go ahead and end the video here before my battery runs completely dead so i hope you all enjoyed this quick little flip through of my vintage um, 1995 victoria magazine thank you to my beautiful and wonderful and generous subscriber and follower. Um, I don't want to say her name, but I just want to tell her thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. Have a great one. Bye now.